Hello everyone, welcome. <laughs> Ross Wazy. <laughs> Again that error, I don't get it. Man, I think I fixed my mic. But I uh, will see. I actually had to re-record the summary of previous stream because I didn't like the sound. I think it was terrible because uh, the way I had to set up my mic. But I mean, I did tape it. Okay, I did tape the cable. It's just weird. Hello, 198A here. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Um, so today's giveaway will happen um, on... Uh, Twitch later on. I didn't prepare anything for YouTube. I'll do YouTube tomorrow. Uh, really, really busy today. <laughs> Trying to get everything sorted. I'll be watching on YouTube and thanks here because chat seems to be working. Yeah, fine fine with me, P Pig Dog Hunter. I mean, um, YouTube is harder to get views. So if you watch me on YouTube, it's, it's good. Mm, hold on, stream manager. Yeah, let's make sure let's make sure everything is working nice. Okay. Uh, so this here, here, okay. Um where is this? Okay, let's jump into the game. Um so the next boss, the next one will be easy, okay? So hopefully we'll cover that, that boss quickly and we're gonna move to the next one, okay? Maybe maybe I'll stream a little bit longer. Uh, plan is maximum four hours, but we'll see how I feel. I feel better than I did previously. Um, good morning. Yeah, uh, I mean, the comments, the likes, everything basically helps because the stream will... Oh, for the activity? Uh, no, they only look into views. The developers only look for the views when it comes to, like, rewarding us with better giveaway codes and etc. So, yeah. But... Everything helps for growing the channel, and I mean, since I've started streaming, uh, since I started covering Dragonair, I got like 2,000 subscribers, so thank you, everyone. Um, hi, man, I liked your last video, good job. Yeah, Jar Jr., the last video is a summary, so for those of you who missed, I did a summary of one of the new bosses, I think the hardest one, despite us having access to amazing corrosion. Uh, if you don't have Rook, you will struggle on that boss definitely okay uh, so this is a test server Rosways. so this is a summary let me quickly transition to this so this is a spreadsheet obviously the spreadsheet is available under my youtube videos and uh, so you can grab the link there and just quickly so we covered the chaos shadow fire boss which is um the poison the poison team does more damage and as you can see it is hard playing with our rook it is i mean i did 75 million with rook um without any without an exclusive artifact oh yeah there's another one ancient battlefield i haven't get there yet So the next one is the easy one, because uh, I need my brain to rest. So we're going to go for the boss, Chaos Shadow, what do they call it? Ice? Chaos Shadow Radiance. Okay, so that will be our next boss, Chaos Shadow Radiance. Hmm, okay. I hope, I, if I lose voice, please let me know, but I shouldn't. I taped it, unless I did... Which are that job? Okay, so Chaos Shadow Radiance. Okay, so this is the easiest one. Wow, nice one. You got hook out your first dupe, and that's a nice dupe. I need a nice dupe to get a better artifact for my Ice Blast team. Okay, so I prepared a few teams when I was uh, making some food. Um, so I created 10 teams here, okay? This is my team. This is a team that I can run. Um, yeah, Blooms of Purina, Ragewood, exactly. So this is my team. And for those of you who just joined, okay, let me quickly go over my Psychic Core and what I'm doing during these tests, okay? So my Psychic Core reflects 
what your team will look on the first um, week. So this is how my psychic card looks currently. Obviously, I don't mean I have all of these nodes unlocked, but what I mean is I am at this point. On my main account, I am here, okay? I chose this, so I have five points here. Uh, I could go within a week. I will definitely get one or two points here. Bang, bang, okay? But I don't have enough affinity to max all of it, so I'm leaving it empty, okay? I'm leaving it out. Uh, why I'm leaving it out? Because I need to make this fair. I need to make this testing fair. Um, so, you know, I'll probably do less damage than you can. That's, that's, the, that's the take here. I will do less damage than you can if you have higher Psychic Core. Keep that in mind. Also, I am not going to use Mythic Equipment because we don't know if we will get a good one. That's why I said, Aaron, not full affinity. I do have five points here. Yeah, I do. Now I'm I'm collecting for this. But what I mean is, if you're main in ice team, you have five points here. If you're main in fire team, you have five points here. So that's why we keep it this way, right? So this is a reflection of mine and your account. So if you play fire radiant, you have five points here, but you have zero and zero here. If you play ice, you have five here, but zero and zero here. That's what I mean. So it's still basically how it should look. Uh, I could have skipped a resistance because I don't think we will have resistance maxed out at this point. But, you know, for the sake of that, I just went here. And I'm not going here because that will be... Either I get one point everywhere and then two points everywhere. That will work. But at this point, this is where most of us will be. So yeah, I released a new video. I'm going to update the comments soon on Twitch, covering those new uh, heroes as well. Okay, but this is the first team. So this is the team I will be looking to run. I have those two, and I have those three, okay? Artifact-wise, I have all of these artifacts, and um, that's what I'll run, probably. If my team dies, then I will change things around, okay? If they don't, then it's all good. And again, no mythic equipment, because in the first week, some of us might not have enough stamina to run it if they if you've been running something else and wasting your bread. Some of us might not be lucky enough to get good gloves or good chest. So I leave it as it is. If you have a glove, if you have a crit, uh, sorry, if you have the defense down glove, your damage will go by approximately 20%. Those gloves are huge, at least on Vortex. So this is the first team. Skill timings, uh, we should adjust just a little bit. We don't really care about those. Uh, it's all good. Now, Fenja is amazing as a healer. Um, Fenja is amazing as a healer because she heals once, gives us a buff, and then heals second time when this buff disappears. She's amazing, and with the staff, we'll have shields constantly, okay? So she's amazing here. I'll try different ones as well. Don't worry. Uh, obviously, Sheena for the shards and then everything else. So Sheena is applying, which is remain. So we want to uh, cast it at 20. Bladen is here just as an extra damage dealer, because why not, okay? We could use Zorak, but I don't like Zorak. Maybe this season Zorak can do damage, but I don't have Zorak and I don't like him. So we'll do it at like... 13, 20, and just the first time, just for the first time, we're going to do it at uh, 13 and a half. Okay. Mm. That's the idea here. So, Garfin is using Ravatrix Roots. It just works better with it, okay? I've tried... Manticore on her, Ravatrix Rafa Tree, Rafa Rooks just do better, at least on Vortex. Hello, JRM, welcome. So, Aura, we're going to use the HP Aura here. And this is the team. And this is this boss is like Alton, but I read the skills, 
And it seems that this boss is weaker than Alton. Can you just look at this? This is a skill that works similar to the Ice Blast team, um, but it hits a single target. It's like Z uh, Zora Zorak skill or Zarok. Yeah, it's like it's like this, and she cast it twice, and then ultimate is only hitting us twelve times <laughs> with some radiance damage. Okay, now. Thanks to Theometer, and this is why I run Accuracy, I will be reducing her ultimate energy as well, as given attack penalty, okay? And since it seems like most of the damage will come from a single tar two single target, which is a tank, he is going to be quite good here. So let's run this fight. Let's prepare the spreadsheet. Um, so we have Theodemir. We have Fenja, we have Sheena, we have Garfin, and we have Bladen. The aura is... What aura did we put on? Attack? No, HP. HP. We don't have anything else. Okay. Oh yeah, Pig Dog Hunter, definitely something like that. That, that will work as well. But... Um, the 15% damage reduction is also good. We could also use a different set. Like if we if our team struggles to survive, right? If our team struggles to survive, we can use the 25%. Well, if he struggles to survive, we can use the 25% damage reduction on him. Uh, and then Fenja with Ancestral. That will definitely make him like immortal. But um I've run this I've run this team without any timings though. Okay, so I run this team without any timings. And I can tell you that he will be taking barely any damage. Fenja is just so good. Okay, he can't get shield, right? Everyone else will, but he can't. That's the part of his, right? But he, uh, th this duo is so good in PvE. I, I was expecting them to be good in PvP, but they do well in PvE as well. So, yeah, quite happy with them, really. Proper... As I said, they are my top top three. Sadly, I didn't get my top one. <laughs> uh, so we do that. Yeah, everyone here will be scrolled. Okay, I know why I've done that now. It's, it's going to annoy me a little bit. Okay. Just, just cable issues. <laughs> Scenario, yeah, exactly. Scenario is my top one and I didn't get him. He's just so OP. And we could make it like at least B. So it's easier to read, yeah. Are we having a long stream and giveaway? Yes, Leopa, today. Uh, I already streamed for four hours. I plan if I manage to stream for another four hours. And we're gonna do two giveaways today. So double giveaway. Uh... Yeah, double giveaway. Maybe double. Okay, so the first the first one we will do at eight o'clock-ish. Both are Twitch, okay? Both are Twitch giveaways today, because I didn't prepare anything for YouTube. Um so we're gonna do one at eight o'clock and the next one at ten o'clock. Okay, so I've I've been streaming for four hours earlier on. So those who are watching me, they managed to get points. Uh, it's two Heliolite dice today. Um, so you know everyone's got a chance. Uh, since it's a longer stream, I can I can do that. Uh, let's hope we get in some celestial summons. <laughs> More than one of a chance, get none. I'll be touching to just burning infinity with only a few heroes. He will be on Banner Prime. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I answered all these questions. Yeah, and again, if I if if you feel like I'm doing something, if I'm moving a mouse, but you can't hear me, please let me know. I'm I'm having issues with my microphone cable. <laughs> no looking the points. Okay, so let's see here. Obviously, we know who's first. So that is the first team, okay? And this is something I can run myself. Ragewood, did you win two Heliolite dice or three Heliolite dice code last time? If 
if you want the free Heliolite eyes, this is another, this is a different code. So you have a chance. All right, so let's see what's happening here because I just did that. So look at that. Everyone is at full HP. The boss is not doing any damage to them. Look now. We got, the boss is going to cast ultimate. It's barely breaking shields. And look at the damage. Sorry, look at the damage taken. Hi, Bob. Welcome. So this is why I think this boss is way easier than Alton. As long as we have a tank, you can bring an immortal tank like Ergander. I mean, look, we are at 11 stacks. 40 seconds left. And yeah, we're not we're, we're not in a situation like with Alton. With Alton, your teammates could die. Like the HP is not moving. And that's 12 stacks in. So either they made the bosses really weak, so everyone can get rewards this season. Don't get me wrong, this wouldn't be a bad thing because of the whole situation with new publisher and etc. Okay, they, they might treat this season as a season where everyone is getting free stuff, and next season things will come harder. Okay, so this is 57 million damage on the fir first try. 57 million, no mythic equipment. Okay, so just quickly, 57 million. And let's copy this here. Yeah. Okay, no mythic gear used. Yeah, and now let's just add a single glove. Okay, let's add single glove. Uh, crit damage one with crit rate. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, so crit damage attack percentage then. Okay, just a single gro glove on someone who's doing the most damage. Let's see how much it changes. Uh, I wonder what will, will be Beldel and Mythical Gloves. Yeah, exactly. That, that's what I want to show you during my tests. I changed the strategy. I'm going to show you the worst case scenario instead of the best case scenario. So if I do 57 million without Mythic items, you can probably get to like 90 million. If you have three damage gloves, that is huge. Oh, Bob, yeah, this is this is what happened to me as well. The first day after the 50% was a big drop. By the way, guys, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. This is my main account, low settings. Because <laughs> if I put like high settings, uh, the blue stacks will not be able to sustain that. And I'm just looking for weak teams. <laughs> like this one, look. This three heroes, and I got my ass handed to me. Look at this. I, I got destroyed by my guildmate. Like, destroyed. So this is like a bait team. But this one I can win. There you go. That's on my first screen. But now, with this glove, okay, with this glove, we could use um, crown on our tank. So we'll have a higher upkeep on the defense down, right? Which will give us more damage. And that, that's one way to do, one way to do things. 
but I don't want to change too much, okay? I just want to say... I just don't want to use the mythics. But we can still compare. I don't like playing against Fessa. Fessa is annoying. Oh, and he's got Fessa with max crit. Oh, zero skill haste. Oh, let's see if I get baited. And with the crown and field minimum, it makes even more sense to let Garfin go. Oh, Garfin is not timed on the, on the ultimate Pig Dog Hunter. She's only timed on the first cast of the ultimate. And then she's casting it at whenever she's ready. That's what I always do, just the first one. And but it still looks like she's, you know, being pissed summer. Look at that. She's just gonna cast it whenever she's ready. Because her damage is not coming from the ultimate. Yeah, I know what you mean. Two minutes for 22 million, not bad. Chris Ellis, we don't know that yet. It's going to be somewhere in May, so still a long time. And I wonder who that's going to be. <laughs> Seven teams for this boss. Well, if you have enough supports, Demer or Angel, last season it was quite easy. Because, you no, know, Radiance has a lot of supports. Yeah, that, that's why that's why I think on Vaikita as well. But on Vaikita, I have teams that will use a single support. I want to see if that's going to work, you know? Yeah, remember, there's also a dragon that needs them. <laughs> I'm on s on third week of the season, I think. Third? Or is it a... Yeah, third, I think so. Or is it fourth now? I, I don't know. Epic ears. Let's keep dragon father. Okay, so what was the damage difference? Seven million. Seven million with just one glove. And again, we didn't need to worry about surviving. And that's the best part of it. So the next team uses Beldel. Okay. We're not going to use a tank per se. But we're going to use Vinyara. Okay. So that's our team. I didn't have time to equip them with anything. And I, I don't know how to build Vinyara, truth to be told. That's why I waited for you guys. <laughs> you know, we learn together. Oh man, terrible stats altogether. But yeah, let's, let's go with this. 
Um, go Baldell and Garfin together instead of Bladder and Evan a hero. Oh yeah, I could go. I could go that way. But what I want to see is like, you know, I'm not... I don't want to do a two teams like like this, right? I want to try different things. So you'll see that every team will have something else, kind of, as you can see. So I got 10 teams ready. Because if this works and you want to bring Gareth in, it will work as well. <laughs> uh, okay, so Vinyara now. So you want Vinyara with, sorry, Okay, let's tr let's do that. I didn't want to do this way. I would prefer Sadik there. Uh, okay, so let's gear him up. Okay, so help me build Vinyara. So our glass. Why do we build our glass? For this. Oh wow, sixteen second cooldown. Um, so we want to use, how do we build her? Like, what stats are we looking for? Sorry. Someone may mention that. Accuracy and HP. Why HP? Does her skills uh, scale with HP? Oh, max HP. Okay, yeah. So accuracy and, yeah, so we're gonna go for this set. Yeah, I got ice teams ready as well, okay? I got them ready. So we go HP on gloves as well. Two sets with skill haste, okay. Ah, uh, we can't use the puppy tier. Because we can't, the puppeteer set will not work on global. The stats will be different. It's not skill haste anymore, right? So let's go for the Mona Lisa set, Mona Lisa blessing. Let's let, let's reflect that. You know what I mean, right? They changed that set. Oh, why did I go defense? I win, I need HP and accuracy. So this one, tan Tandra set. So we need HP gloves as well. Man, I wish I had Vinyara. Everyone's saying she's amazing. Okay, so I guess HP chest as well. Okay, we got enough accuracy, I think. Yeah, we definitely have enough. So we want skill haste here, right? Some HP and skill haste. Wow, <laughs> dude, triple haste. Okay. 
Okay, what well, else do we have? Crit, okay, good. Uh, gonna remove that glove, obviously. Ah, it's overkill. Okay, but I need a little bit more accuracy. This here. There we go. Okay, do we time Vinyara or we just let her wing it? Can we do that? Let her fly, time will do. Yeah, so now we need to do that. So 12, 20. I like using Bladen instead of Garfen because Bladen gives 20% attack up. Yes, if you have 100% attack down, you can use Emperor in any content. Right, see, if she's got 100% upkeep here, I could go Emperor set as well. Okay, 15 million already, nice.
Yeah, I don't think I have better runes, so I will need like two triple and I only have double and triple. Oh, more, more accuracy. Points. Okay, I got what you mean. Points. Yeah, there's always like 3% chance to miss, no? Oh yeah, she might not be necessary here, but the idea is to try different supports every time we do this boss. To see if all the supports work. And as you can see, they work. <laughs> so 97 million here. So next team, as you can see, this is what I'm doing basically. Changing the supports and changing the heroes. So, next team. We already have good set. Oh yeah, and <laughs> um, because remember we used we used Furbap and Hexandra elsewhere, so I don't. I, I'm trying to avoid using them, you know. So I got different different heroes lined up. Because this is the easiest boss so far. So at the moment we're only testing teams. That can do a lot of damage because in the chief challenge all you care about is the damage on single boss epic euros there's a team like that 
I have that ready as well. That, that's what I wanted to know myself. Uh, so what does he do? Ally protection, defense, shield, damage reduction, and he's got a chance to do attack penalty. Uh, I mean, we can use this on him. He will be our attack penalty source. And again, we can use this defense puppeteer set on this guy. Ideally, we would like to reduce mm, the crit there to Send me hundred scrolls, yeah. <laughs> um, so we can run this. And let's go for this set. Thank you. 
Oh no, we need like accuracy as well, that would be amazing. Yes, I did rage with it that doesn't work too well. 12 million damage, the worst. Yes, no good at all. I might be missing something, but just not what well, I expected. Yeah, I mean, even the three to play poison team did more. 14 million with Sigrid, Ally, and Lefalis. But again, it might be me. Okay, I might be the problem. Because <laughs> I don't play that. That's terrible stats, but let's go for it. I used to love here Twitch and Corin, but yeah, with Durango maybe. I didn't use Durango at all. Yeah, Jeff explodes poison, but the thing is, uh, <laughs> we can kill ads with Twitch, basically. Uh, well, Twitch does the defense down, almost kills the ads. So, uh, in my case, I don't remember what was the next hero. Who did they play? Twitch and who? Let's see. Twitch and Vikana, yeah, so they kill the ads and then Jafalia uses her ultimate on the boss without any poison. <laughs> so 18 million, this team. But the free-to-play teams are not that far behind. It's just the switching between the ads and the boss as bad for that team. You have to manually cast, okay? If you manually cast, you can probably get good results. If you're lazy like me, then yeah, it might be a little bit different. Lazier than Gorax, yeah. Uh, oh man, I don't remember how much we've done. Was it like 92 million? I think so. Urian. Uh, 
um, Delicabra. Obviously, it's not 92 everywhere, but I'm just too lazy to do it manually. Same day, monster, monster. 97? Yeah, it might be about right. No, it's not bad monster monster because you have seven days to do the bosses. So for the six days you can farm equipment and then on seventh day do the bosses. It's not like other world exploration where you need to do the bosses daily. You have a one full week to do three bosses. Okay, everyone, six minutes till the giveaway on Twitch. So make sure you jump over, check your points. Forty nine million. And I mean, we're using r cheap damage dealers. Yeah, it was 97, nice. Okay, so now we're changing the heroes, the tank and the, the healer, basically. <laughs> it's all on you, you just joined me. <laughs> Zero points. <laughs> Do you <go> here? <laughs> Okay, so let's build Iris. Iris, Elvis is there as well. <laughs> no worry, don't worry, got that covered. So these points, Epicurus, are used to enter the giveaway.
Uh, I'm doing all that, but I have this. I always forget. Twenty points today. I didn't say anything about what. Ah, okay, you can hear me, yeah. It's fine. Take off mute. The cable. The cable, yeah, the cable seems alright so far. I was just looking at the equipment. Okay, let's start the giveaway. You can spend the channel points on, like, highlighting your messages and stuff. <laughs> I don't really know what else I can, like, do. I'm not good with it. If someone can, like, create maybe some, uh, what's it called? Icons or, or something, really. Uh, to hell you like that. Excuse me. Send confirmation when buying tickets. Okay, so t ticket costs 25 max tickets. Remember, two hours from now, if I'm do if I don't fall asleep, another one, another giveaway. We fill out the with points. Uh, Gorax, how does how the setting skill thing? Who has energy recharge penalty? Timing always messing up every time. Have average. Yeah, it's quite hard, Morpheus, when you have someone with recharge speed penalty. This is why I try to avoid heroes like that. Um, because then you need to look at what's happening at the screen, and if you have it at hundred percent chance of applying recharge speed penalty, then you might be. Uh, Adjusting to it. I basically don't like heroes like that when I'm trying to do bosses and etc. So who are we using here? It's Gareth, I think, and Garion. So we have three G's. Orange. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go, Baldell. Do 
blue. Which blue am I using this one? And I think we got what well, HP or right again. Hello, Whitney. Welcome. Uh, I have a team with Frost Heroes as well. It's not only Ice Blast. Don't worry, I'll do that. So first, we're we're using all the Ice Blast setups we can. Um, and then Frost, few Frost, because I, I think Ice Blast will still be the best here. W once we get, once we get to, what is it called? Otherworld Exploration, then we'll definitely use the Frost as well. I think this boss will be like Alton. You want, you want to bring like four, five teams here. <laughs> so 46 million with this team. What artifacts did we use? Yeah, okay, so basically just two. Not bad. Okay, and this is another idea. So four damage dealers, but cheap damage dealers, okay? Budget ones, you would I would say. <laughs> so we need to do this. Mm. I don't know. I only were I only was able to test two, but I would I would say the dragon or the ancient battlefield one. Those two seems like they might be the hardest. You know. Mm. Oh, I didn't say Vinyara said. Oh, man. So how do we build her? Accuracy and HP? Oh, I can't use this set. It has to be the other one. Mona Lee's Blessing. Yeah, accuracy and HP. And then we have... Uh, Pandras one. With like HP, was it? Yeah. Okay. So let's save this as Vinyara. Oh man, did they go for HP here? And skill haste, yeah, something like this. Okay. Nice. So she will tank, okay? So if she tanks, we need someone else to use a puppeteer set 
to grant her more defense. And that's going to be our Sheena, okay? So we have like... Well, we can go this way, really. Okay, that's fine, but we don't need that accuracy here. We can go with defense. Sorry, is it hard to opt in one? Oh, the artifacts. Yeah, it's Iris Bane. He, he, he can't get them. Am I using North? Yes, I am. So I can use this. Is it 10 past, Pig Dog? Okay, 10 past. Let's do it. Let's finish the first giveaway. So, last chance to enter. Buy your tickets. Okay. Let's stop. And let's draw a winner. And today's winner is I am Gom to 9% chance of winning. Greasin, you were too late. Roseways, you were too late. Next giveaway, hopefully in two hours, if I don't fall asleep. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, so I am going to. Can you please write something on the chat so I can give you your code? Oh, that's your first time. Hello. Congratulations. Please respond. Yeah, so if you can see the message, please let me know in the whisper. I send you a whisper on um, Twitch. <laughs> I'm going to... Yeah, if I can confirm, you can see. Oh, you wave to me in a Discord. Okay. Hold on. That's you. Okay. Hi.
Okay, send you the code on this cut. Well done, and hopefully this will bring you some luck. So yeah, next giveaway, hopefully in two hours, un unless I fall asleep. <laughs> that can happen. Report any log like us. Yeah, good luck to you. Okay, so how we're doing? 30 million. Vinyara is still doing good. I can see the team is taking some damage. I wonder if you can see my screen. Yeah, okay, so we are taking some damage. It's not much, which means even... Oh, because we are at five stacks only. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, we definitely can be do seven teams. I mean, look at this. I'm trying like I think even one tank, one support, plus three damage dealers and someone at level 50 just for the artifact or aura will work. Okay, because if we can do 22 million damage in two minutes, that's all we need. But I will do this, testing, once other world exploration opens. Because remember, we'll, we will also get buffs, which will make it even easier. Okay, so mark giveaway is complete. Mark is complete. Okay. <sighs> What's that? Sponsored campaigns. See you later, Pig Dog Hunter. Oh, thank you for um, gifting a subscription. Whoever is anonymous, thank you very much. So 65 million, not bad. Okay, I think we need to change that. That wasn't 92 million. 
Uh, definitely not. So we got Vinyara as a tank, and then we have those two. We have Shina, but we also have Sadik. Um, so Sadik will be purple. Okay, so 65, not bad. What was the previous one? 46. Okay, 46. So yeah, definitely easier boss than the first one. And what aura did we use? HP, yeah. Seems like that's... Because that's bullet in this one. Oh, I don't like that. Why is it different? Different color. And just copy that. Oh my god, silly me. Maybe I can just do this. Ah. Yeah, but copying is still fast. Oh. Yeah, that was cra that was driving me crazy a little bit there. Before I fall asleep. Yeah. Okay, next. Next we go to Frost. Okay, it's time to change things. We're gonna use the same duo. We don't really need both of them, right? But we we're gonna go with them. Oh wow, how the how the heck do I have equipment on those two already? That's weird, but it's good. <laughs> uh, okay. So what can I wear here? I mean, we're gonna have shield quite often. This is good artifact, but you know, we have access to all these legendary artifacts. Should we go for it? But I don't remember what I can wear here. What would be a good, good equipment? I could go for this and boost Oster's damage. That's one way. I mean, music box, horseshoe as well. Let's go with that. We'll boost Rosenia's and uh, what's his name? Oster damage with this. Okay, what can we run on Oster? Like, there's so many choices that I never used, like all these uh, Frost only things. So, what would be good? This maybe? No accuracy. Winter Ring, okay. Oh no, guess what? We need to summon heroes. Let's go.
Now, oh, we have access to all these amazing artifacts, Doombot. Let's test the dam instead of slingshot. <laughs> By the way, this... This summoning pool is really lucky for me. I'm getting, like, constant legendaries from it. Obviously, it's test server, so may maybe they rigged rig the legendary raids, but, like, every 10, 15 dies... I'm getting a legendary hero here. Look at that. I'm not even lying. And if you watched me earlier today, I got two legendary out of 10 dice, and one of them was uh, Flora. <laughs> you know. That's just crazy luck on test server. I'll fill too. Silla, nice. Now, you know what banner it is. It is an Ogog banner, right? But I don't want to pull here. Because the last time I've pulled, like a practice pull, I had such a tremendous luck. And when it went to when I went to the global, I had terrible luck. <laughs> so I'm not pulling here. I could run a test and see how much I need to get spend to get Ogok. <sighs> but not. <laughs> not now. Okay, so where we are, squ squad six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can definitely replace that cloth. Hmm, but we can definitely we can use something better. Oh, wow. Why? 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 <laughs> so do we need to make it 24 for Oster? I don't play Oster, so I'm not sure if that's what we should do. That's a long ass cooldown.
Oh. No, okay. I forgot about that. So yeah, but he's faster than 20 seconds, but everyone else is not. So do, do we go... Like default here. Is that what you do with Oster? Not to waste his ultimate. I don't have Oster, so I have no idea. Yeah, I think the issue is that there is a huge gap between an exclusive hero and non-exclusive heroes. And by that I mean, even if you look in Season 1 and you played Wild Team in Season 1, okay? And you had everyone except for Flora, you would be doing, let's say, 25, well, no. 40 million, okay? Without Flora, you were doing 40 million. If you added Flora, the, 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 you could do like 45, 50 million with Flora there, okay? But if you added Flora's exclusive artifact, you will be looking at like 80, 90 million. And that's huge, okay? The exclusive artifacts make, it make a huge difference. If I run a Rook without the exclusive artifact, I'm losing like 25, 30% damage. He's still doing good, but I'm losing a lot of damage without exclusive artifact. The the um, exclusive hero without the artifact and exclusive hero with an artifact, it's a huge gap. You won't see that gap early on, because even on Vortex, you can see the damage difference right now, three weeks in, is not that big between the Rook with exclusive and Rook without exclusive. But the later we go into the game, the difference is going to be huge, because I've done this test.
<laughs> yeah, I mean, no sound. Yeah, sorry guys. I was, I'm preparing uh, my free versus free arena teams. So <laughs> I'm working in the background. So your yeah, biggest whales on my server has quit, have quit the game between the seasons as well. So you know, it is what it is. Okay, yeah, free versus free arena is annoying. I don't have equipment to run proper free versus free arena right now. Uh, so that's what they're using. Okay, 43 million. Let's call it 43 million. There we go. Yeah, so <laughs> the fully stacked. Fully stacked Frost team is doing less damage than our full epic team. Forty three million. Okay, now I only did one change, and I think I can even change it further. We don't need Theodemus here. We can bring another Frost hero. Maybe not Ostar. Uh, well, I don't want to bring Vita. I don't think she's that great against single target. But we can bring her in. And, and don't really play her that often. But that means we need to pull again. Ooh la la. Another summoning. Yeah, Trollgar. Trollgar is not bad, but I don't like him. <laughs> he removes that frost, you know, and we need frost. Where is Vitar's ultimate? Sorry, this is Yeah, we need to do summons. More summons. Safe plan. Let's do that.
Hey, I don't like that. I want this equipment. I want to use these heroes. So at least few of them have the equipment, yeah? Just say this. I don't even know how... What should we do here? With this dude. Maybe this. But then again, I need to summon. No. <sighs> I mean, he doesn't need anything. Doesn't heal. He's not going to die. Skill haste. Mm, yeah, we can do that. We're gonna build him with the defensive uh, puppeteer, basically. Yeah, he does attack up. Defense skill. It's not much, but it's honest. And skill time and so twenty. seconds yeah it's fine so you're 18 so everyone will use it yeah. mm, so we're running the same thing are we using okay oh, and then the next three teams will be free to play friendly so free to play friendly Epic artifacts and etc.
All right, because I'll need to expand it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll need to add new rows as well here. Let us tomorrow. Oh well, what happened here? <clears throat> Actually, we can do it today. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Two, 42 million, okay. Okay, let's try more free-to-play friendly teams now. Oh god, is Music Box or Horseshoe better on her? Okay, we 
we don't need more crit. Everyone's so quiet. <laughs> uh, Rowena. Oh yeah, we I can't run our glass on Elvis. We need to make it as free to play friendly as possible. Possible, although Rowena can use the roots. Shopping for PC parts. <laughs> he lives in a fortune, man. Yeah, my, my PC costed a fortune as well. Well, it didn't cost a fortune because it's not like high end one, but costed a little bit, a fair bit. Bang. I think even Usha will be enough to tank it. I think we don't need Elvis. I think we could go Usha and bring an extra damage dealer, truth to be told. Oh, and we can't run Witches Remain as well. We need to opt for the crown. So yeah, I need a little bit more accuracy here. So let's go for safe accuracy, please. It's not bad. I mean, there's not much else we can do here. How does it look? That doesn't look too bad. Okay, timings. 9, 11, 28. I guess 20, because for me now will be... Let's make it one second. I don't even know, you know, I have I have one twenty seven and two twenty fours.
Still trying to set up my 3v3 team. How are we doing? Not bad, not bad. Easily hitting 22 million. Why change artifact on Hexandra? Dr I would say Drizzt is free to play friendly, but not everyone has him, okay? Some people might have missed. Um, so I could use Usha here as a tank. Okay, I don't need Elvis, I can use Usha easily. But it's a free legendary artifact. You can get it from Season 2 Pillars. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, he could be used instead of Hexandra. Oh, you could even use him instead of uh, Elvis and make Hexandra tank. You know, the, the artifacts like Ravatrix Root and the Stone are all obtainable for low spenders, free-to-play players. It just means you need to be more hardcore and get them. Yeah, Hexandra is definitely the one for the dragon. Right, it works. I mean, I'm just trying to do different supports and so far every support works. Okay, so how much damage we've done here? 31 million. And we used Elvis, Alexandra, Usha. We used. Uh, what's her name? Rava. And we used Rowena. Aura. That's the right, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, okay. Next team. So yeah, a little bit different. As you can see, I'm using different tanks, different ideas. I mean, we might not even need Hexandra here. It was before I realized we might we might not need you know tank healers etc. I think Vorish will be enough, truth to be told. Should we try? I think we should try. So if we edit lineup, we remove this. Or we bring someone useful. We don't have attack penalty here. So maybe we can bring in Glal as an attack penalty. This will reduce the damage though, won't it? Is there anyone else with attack penalty? Attack. These are the heroes.
Yeah, Pargo would work. I mean, this is another hill. We can try him. Sovalis instead. Like, you know, we can't really... Um, so we'll use like two off heals, a little bit of damage. So we might be low on damage, but let's try this. Okay, so we don't need blinds. We want max HP on him. I don't think we will need this. Let's go with that. I need to do like a big summoning session when your guy you guys are not around. I don't want to waste your time basically doing summoning sessions. Really, I don't. Uh, so let's do this and we go defense. We don't need that much accuracy, but I mean I just let's just have it. Oh no no no! We need to use a different set here. Right 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 right. So we need to use HP, and we're gonna go for this. Yeah, his shield scales with HP. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. But we also want a little bit of defense if we can get like something like this. Oh, that's bad. Defense or HP. So what is his scale and attack? Ultimate energy. Okay, so we need, if we want to use this ultimate energy, we need to use some accuracy. And since we already used one, we can go with slingshot. Targets max HP. Amazing. So basically we want this. Oh, let's build him with this. Never built him before. Oh yeah, no, we need defense. More defense here. So defense, accuracy. HP, no, okay. Okay, we got more accuracy than we really need. So now, uh, defense attack.
Oh, we can't. No. Uh, he will be better with slingshots. Okay. Timings. So we only need to basically do this. Everyone else can do whatever they want whenever they although I mean that's damage and it's still like He's got low cooldown, so he can do whatever he wants. And crit rate. Okay, let's see if this will work. Those two. Taliban? I don't even know his name. Sovelis? Borish. And all of them are purple. There we go. I mean, this boss is so easy that we don't need to put notes. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, and let's build these arena teams. Man. Okay, so it seems like one team is made. Second team. So second team will be my ice and poison. So I don't need to build much.
Okay. So yeah, still, still we're being able to do that 22 million, so that's good. Okay, 28 million damage. And last one, yeah, and that would be me for today. Getting tired though. Um, so yeah, this is the idea here. Someone mentioned that, so that's why I want to do Drist as a tank. Yeah, so we still can use... I mean, we can even use Usha as a tank, really. We don't need Drist. Oh man, that's terrible. Oh no, Rafa was using it. Oh, I screwed up. Where's Rafa?
Once again, 11.8, 20. Okay, let's try. Last team. Okay, so Usha is about to die, but we're doing pretty good damage. Hygrox is a good burn team, viable for Vortex. No, burn team is not good on Vortex in Season 2. Wild team is better at Vortex. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, burn team is more, well, few burn teams are doing like 50 million damage uh, on my vortex. So, Usha dies, Usha dies early. A team, look, despite dying early, we are still out damaging the previous team. So, not bad. And who do we have here? So, we have Usha, we have Rava, we have Rowena. Alexandra, and we have the rest. Hmm. 
Not bad. Two bosses. Done. The easiest boss. And a little bit harder boss if you don't have Rook. <laughs> Um, so this spreadsheet is under most of my YouTube videos in season three. Okay, so tomorrow, two more bosses. Well, tomorrow I can't stream that much, so hopefully one boss. Um, we got whole week to deal with it. And so far it looks like... Um, I will run on my main account at the moment those two bosses so I can run this team well sorry this team 92 million I can do that and I can do this 57 million here so that should be quite good for me and uh, yeah I will really, I will probably record the video like summarizing all that tomorrow. Um, so hopefully midday I'll be able to release it. If I go quite busy morning, well, no, probably, probably not. Probably I'll release it in the evening because I don't have time to do it tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, okay. Okay, I promised second giveaway. Let's do that. Let's do that now because I, I won't be able to stay for another half an hour just to tie it. So let's do that. Let, let me create another giveaway. Um, giveaways. It's, a, it's the same as previous one. So tw cost is 25 tickets. And that's it. Yeah, let's go for it. Maybe I should do the summary now then, since you guys are getting tickets. So I won't be reading chat for a while. Uh, let me let me do the summary here. Oh, Gondo87, you need to be on Twitch. Today giveaways are on Twitch. Tomorrow there will be a YouTube giveaway because I don't have time to prepare anything for YouTube today. YouTube is a quiz. Twitch is just buying tickets and participating. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Chaos Shadows Radiance boss. I believe this boss is the easiest one. Um... Similar to Alton last season, he doesn't do, she doesn't do too much uh, damage wise. I actually think this boss does way less damage than the Alton. And again, we can use Frost teams and this is the team I will use. Um, as always, I would like to remind everyone that I have this spreadsheet and you can find um, the spreadsheet under any of my YouTube videos and this spreadsheet helps us keep, keep us up to date basically with what's happening so yeah make sure you bookmark it and you can use it reuse it and do whatever well just have a look at it all the new information is there so yeah this is the team my team this team can do like uh, 57 million was it yeah so 57 million I'm really happy with it uh, and this is the equipment. This is basically what I'll be able to recreate on my main account. So I have all these artifacts available to me. Uh, the equipment I'll have to farm. And once again, all these tests are done without any mythic equipment. Okay. So that's quite important. And let me also quickly show you. 
um, the psyche core as a reminder. So this is this is where we stop, okay? Bang. So basically, if you main a team, you will be up to this point. Not on all of them, but at least one, at least one. Yeah. This this is where your damage will come. So this is what we base this damage on. But no mythic equipment, and that's quite important. And uh, let me just quickly show you how the fight looks. Um, it's quite easy, quite simple. Um, compared to other bosses, so basically the first skill does damage to a single target, which is our tank. So our tank will take it easy peasy lemon squeezy. Nothing, nothing really happening here compared to other bosses, at least the dragon one. So we spam in damage. Then again, our tank is taking this this damage from this skill, and then it's Alton, similar to Alton. So like Shina's basically ultimate that covers the whole ground. And all we need to do is we need to survive. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not hard. <laughs> Surviving this fight is not hard. So this will be a quick video basically covering the teams. Uh, skill timing, we only time our damage dealers. So when it comes to the Ice Blast, you want Shina first, then uh, Bled in to buff attack up, and then Garfin. You don't need to time Garfin. Garfin has a lower ultimate cooldown, so she will go quickly um you can you can use emperor set if you have a good upkeep on attack down you can even use instead of our glass you can even use crown if you have mythic gloves uh, so higher upkeep and then the top tier team um it's obviously Beldel, garfin you don't you can replace garfin with sadik bladen etc this team will work uh the strategy is really the same basically and you can see the timings. Um, I don't even need to do Felosia at different uh, at this time. I just put it because why not? Um, and then we have Vinyara on basically anything default. Okay, the boss is not doing enough damage. Those two are not needed. I'll show you that later as well. Equipment plan obviously stacked with legendary artifacts because this is the end game team we're aiming at. Um, and the the fight is basically the same, so there's no point of me showing you anything. With Ice Blast team, nothing changes, okay? And we're only changing heroes. And now we're dropping or our legendary heroes, uh, well, damage-dealing heroes. And we're tr still trying to use different supports because when it comes to the other world exploration, you will want to use as many supports as you can. And again, similar setup here on our damage dealers. Uh, this time around, we have Bladen, with which is Remain, as he's the best option to apply it. And we use Euron and Elecabra. Skill timing also changes because now we start with Bladen to apply, which is Remain. And then we follow with our damage dealers. Next team, totally dropping legendary heroes. We run in different supports. Same damage dealers though. Uh, so the timing will be very similar. Default on our healers, etc. And the equipment. Um, Light alignment. I didn't want to use like an OP one here, but yeah, that, that's what I used here. We we want like a little bit of accuracy on Gareth to make sure we have attack penalty on. And again, check if your team can survive. If your team doesn't die and it shouldn't with those two heroes, then you can use two puppeteers to make them more tanky and etc. You don't really need ancestral protection here. Uh if you got this kind of equipment. So that's it. Uh, timing's shown. Same idea here, okay. And then we move to something quite interesting for at least few of you. So basically, single tank and four damage dealers. And again, the boss is not doing enough damage, uh, so we can go. We can get away with it, especially with Vinyara. Uh, here again, we start with Shina. We follow with Ladin to get twenty percent attack to the one with the highest attack, and then we follow with our damage dealers. And this team can do 65 million damage. Okay, two legendary heroes, 65 million damage, which is more than my main team. Uh, but sadly, I don't have Vinyara. And also Vinyara's equipment uh, is all about haste. Um, so we can't use Puppeteer. On the test server, it still says has haste, but on global, it's not. It's been changed into resistance so we use this monolith set and we use another haste set with hp because her shield scales with hp and as much um haste as possible with accuracy 
and basically when we fight um I, I didn't even change the aura but yeah i use different aura it's not the accuracy aura i use uh we'll have we'll be slowing down the boss quite often significantly and vinyara is enough to take it the boss will not do damage to our heroes until like 10 12 stacks so we can easily survive five minutes and do a lot of damage and that's basically the idea with this team and um, then the next teams are the frost teams so you know if you don't want to build ice blast team or you don't have ice blast heroes i prepared a few other teams um so yeah this is a stacked frost team basically full whaleish we go all out okay and this is the equipment we're gonna wear um this is the rotation we're gonna use pretty simple we use losenia first which is enabler any kind of enabler we follow with drist we follow with oster oster is on default because he will get so much energy and it's pretty simple we go with crit damage aura as well because everyone has high crit rate and as you can see the rotation is pretty simple nothing spectacular here happening uh, we have good tank, good healer, as plenty. I don't even think we need Theodemar in this case. Fenja will be enough, even as a tank. And bringing another damage source with maybe Puppeteer set as well will work. And yeah, this team works really well. Easy setup. Good damage, still for 40 something million, which is similar to what my main team can, can and will probably do. And here we switch things around, as you can see. And as I said, I don't think we need Fiodimer. We don't need tank. And we got Hokader here. Uh, equipment wise, uh, obviously I put in Vita. I never used the Vita. So I put her in just to see how she does. And um, Hokader with Puppeteer set, full haste on. So basically, constantly we have this attack up on our Frost heroes. And this is the rotation. Fenja, Hokadir on default, Enabler, and Damage Dealers shortly, shortly after. That's the idea behind this team. And yeah, with Vita, it looks amazing. I mean, I like Vita. Uh, sadly, I don't have her, but I have access to her on test server, so I can definitely utilize that and have fun with these heroes. And now more budget friendly, I believe it's now the time. Yeah, no, more budget friendly teams, as you can see. Epics, rare, equipment wise, basically everything you can get for free. These two are quite hard, but they are easily replaceable. Eyeball of the Giant here, Mirror here. Still equipment, no mythic equipment, which means the damage can only go up. And similar rotation to everything, enabler and then damage dealers shortly after. Our tank and our support are not. Um, the skills are being cast whenever, basically. And yeah, we use um, Elvis here with enough accuracy. So when he gets damage, he will apply Richard Speed penalty, which means the boss will get stacks slower and we can easily survive. Although with tank and support, we can easily survive that boss. Anyway. Um, so the next team, 28 million damage. I tried to use tanks and supports that I don't use anywhere else. And that's what I came up with. So I don't use Vorish anywhere. Uh, Dalibam and Sovalis are free. And this is what I build them with. So Dalibam with this 25% damage reduction here. Plus Patch as well. So he's like a brick wall. The boss can't really do damage to him. On top of that, we have some healing from Vorish and some healing from uh, Sovalis as well, as he heals with his battle skill. So He's just there standing and doing well. Um, we're not casting their skills. Again, tank and healer, they'll be on default constantly. And then just enabler followed by damage dealers. Rava has the Witch's Remain. You could replace Rava's Witch's Remain, build her more tanky and put Witch's Remain on uh, Vorish. That will work as well. And the other team, the last team, uh, for those of you who have Drist, okay, and who don't want to run any tank, with Usha as a tank, this works and the team is doing solid 33 million damage. I just didn't change the name. Let me just bring the spreadsheet quickly uh, so you can see that for yourself. 
So there we go. Um, and the team does 33 million damage, as you can see. The damage can go up if we can keep Usha alive, as she's dying at like one minute left on the clock. But yeah, the damage is there. Um, so that can work as well. If you are running out of the tanks or supports, you can use Usha with someone else. So yeah, this is the easiest boss, in my opinion. Uh, basically, whatever team you throw at it, the team will do well. As long as you have three damage dealers, a tank, and a healer, and sometimes you don't even need a tank. So definitely, this is a good choice to start on your first week. As, uh, as I said, the easiest one, basically. Um, okay, so let's finish the giveaway. Okay, last chance to enter the giveaway, by the way. Some of you might forgot. Hi, Kainz. Yeah, Orion. I'm finishing the second boss. I still have four to do. So busy weekend. I swear it seems to be the same as last season versus Alto. Random damage by Vinyara under 20. So breaks completely. Yeah. <laughs> Vinyara is so good here. Okay. Let's finish the giveaway. And let's draw a winner. And Mega Bupples. Mega Bupples. Is Mega Bupples with us? 12% chance. Well done. Um, bang here, drag in there. Mega Bopples, there you are. Okay, uh, I'm gonna send you the code. Please read a whisper on Twitch. Yeah, there were only like 18 people entering, so. <laughs> uh, I'm just asking you in the whisper if you can read it. So yeah, if you can read the whisper on Twitch, that would be amazing. If not, you can always contact me on Discord, but do it now, because <laughs> when I'm gone, I'm gone. Yeah, my double pulse, can you read my whisper? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, you can. Mega Bopples, can you please respond? I know you're there. I just need you to confirm that you can read the whisper because I don't want to send you a code that you can't see. Or you can reach out to me on Discord. <laughs> Leopa, yeah, you didn't, sadly. I mean, yeah, if I don't get an answer in seven minutes, I will move to another winner. Oh, there we go. He can hear, he can see it. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, enjoy the code. Hopefully, it will bring you some legendary heroes. And I am going to sleep, Mega. Oh, you had to verify Akan. That's fine. No worries. Okay, so grab the code or yours. Hopefully, it will get you something good. <laughs> okay, everyone. So, thank you all for staying with me through all the day. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be back in the evening with twi uh, sorry YouTube giveaway, single one. I'll prepare a quiz, as always, and we'll test more bosses. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and see you later. Also, if you haven't been here in the morning and you want to see how the poison and corrosion teams do against the dragon, make sure you watch my YouTube video. Okay, thank you for all, and speak to you later. Bye.